you, Karana. Good morning, all. Uh, dear Anna Rachel, Regional Director, ITU for Africa. Dear Antonio Pedro, Acting Executive Secretary for ECA. Dear Excellencies, Ambassadors, all protocols observed, especially for those who are VIP today, these girls who are in this hall, I would like to say happy 12th International Girls in ICT, in ICT Day and welcome. <clears throat> uh, where we celebrate women in ICT and STEM fields and inspire the next generation of women and young girls that will be leaders here, all of you here today will be a leaders when you finish your school and your careers. Hopefully, I can assure you, you can be a leader of this country and a part of not only for Ethiopia, for Africa and for the world. So active contributors, users of the digital ecosystem. As you know, at this time, the world is becoming digital and the economy is becoming a digital. So all of you here will be the users of the digital ecosystem. So this year we celebrate the day with the theme of digital skills for life because we need a digital skill for life from now on because the world is already becoming a digital world. So we need digital skills for our life. Digital skills has become one of the major life skills in this digital era. It has become essential to access different services, actively participate in emerging global and local digital economy. As you know, we are working to build digital economy as a country level. So it's <clears throat> must to have a digital skill. However, women and girls worldwide, and especially in developing countries like Ethiopia, are lagging behind in terms of digital skills and literacy. So there are many barriers that disproportionately affect women and girls when it comes to access the technology and skills. Such a low level of general literacy of red women, lack of access to digital device, lack of access to affordable and reliable connectivity, the unavailability of localized contents of digital skills and literacy are the major ones. So we need to tackle these all challenges together. So in Ethiopia, there are substantially gender gaps in access to digital technology and financial services and also inequality in literacy across age groups and regions. At the national level, 57% of males are literates while 43% of females are literate. So we need to work here. We need to promote. People have to get education in our country. So you will be the leaders to work on it, to call up your sisters from rural areas, especially from the remote areas. We have to promote to bring them to school. So this is a week you can campaign, you can use the technology to promote, to invite your friends to come to this, to this school. So you have a big assignment to invite your friends to come to the school. So <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, the Ministry of Innovation and Technology has the mission to create an inclusive digital economy. When we say inclusive digital economy, we have to make equal opportunity for women, for men, and for women in education, in accessing devices, 
technologies in every aspect that a man access our women and girls should have to access it. So that's why we are working in inclusive digital economy, making men and women equal in access of technology and rural and urban areas in the same way. So within this overarching objective, bridging the, the gender digital divide is one of the agenda. As you know, the gender divide created by the previous factors that I have been mentioning, there might, it might be also bigger by <clears throat> the new technologies that are coming yet. If you're not filling the gap at this time, it will be irreversible. So we have to work on it. That's why we are working on the bridging the gender digital divide, which could be created from the previous factors and now also at this time. So that's why the ministry is working on this. The ministry with its, its partners, such as ITU, is working on different initiatives. One of initiatives we are working that my dear Anna Rishir have been mentioning on this year is building the capacity, building 100 women with digital skills and literacy. I hope it is a little bit more for Ethiopia as it's very big nation, but it is first initiation. I hope it will increase from time to time and it will help us to bridge the gender gap in digital divide. We also <coughs> commenced a digital financial literacy project with our partner, UNCDF, that plans to reach 200,000 citizens with digital and financial skills, which 50% of will be women from different walks of the life. Not only accessing the devices and the technologies, there is a gap accessing the financial accesses also. So that's why we need to work for the women, for the girls to have the financial accesses, the knowledge, the awareness, how to access the financial using banks, insurances, and other things. So that's why we are working with our partner, UNCDF. So it is also 200,000 citizens will be get this opportunity. So the digital inclusion strategy is also the development of process and will be finished by the end of 2023. However, ladies and gentlemen, more work has to be done to bring women to front in the STEM fields. That's why at the country level, we prioritize the ICT sector in the country and we have a strategy of Digital Ethiopia 2025. We have four major pillars that we are working at this time, building the infrastructure, connectivity and power, and having the enabling digital systems like the digital ID. The identity is the most important thing. We need to have identity in digital era which is digital ID, that's what we are working. The digital payments, as you all know, we start paying our bills in digital system. So we are working on that. The cybersecurity, it has been mentioned, the major thing. Even though we have the infrastructure, the systems, we need to have a safe, secured internet services at the country level. So that's why we are working on this. And the third pillar is the interactive, interactive digital platforms. We already working the e-government, e-service, e-commerce. As you know, we start buying products through online at this time. So we need to work. So when, well, to do this, to use 
the technology, we need to have the skill, we need to have the knowledge. So we have to empower ourselves. We need to have the knowledge and the skills to use the technology, to create the technology, and to learn from the technology. Because education becomes digital, online at this time. So we need to have the skill, we need to have the knowledge to learn from, <clears throat> from the technology, to create the technology. You know, women are very close to innovation. That's why we all are here. We are the product of our mothers, sisters, and it could be for here are a man here, because of our wives. They're very innovative, they're very creative. If they come to the, if they are supported by the technology, they will be very successful. So uh, the, 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 our relationships, the government with the citizen, the government with the business institutions, the government uh, with <clears throat> its government will be through online, through digital. So even the business to business, the business by the citizen will be through online. We, when we digitalize our services, time and place cannot limit us to do our tasks, to do our education. So <clears throat> technology is uh, making ease for our life, as you all know. So we need to have the skills to use this opportunity. The e-commerce, e while we are sitting in our home, we can buy anything we want. So we, we need to have a skill to use the devices, the products, the technologies at a country level. So the other, the fourth pillar is the ecosystem, which is we need to focus on our people. We need to literate the the digital literacy is the basic thing. It, is, it has been mentioned. To use the technology, to create the technology, to learn from technology. So the Ethiopian government is working here, but still we need to collaborate with our prominent uh, partners like ITU, CDF, and others. That's why we need to work, because we need to address all over the country in, in different regions of Ethiopia. So when we have the, the, the skills and the knowledge, we can use the technology. We need to strengthen our financial sectors. As you all know, Ethiopia is the youth country. The youth country. The youths are very innovative, very creative. They have great ideas great startups, so we need to realize their dreams. We need to support them financially, technically. So that's what we are working at a country level now, and the other policies, strategies, programs are underway. We have the startup proclamation at a country level, the personal data protection, the e-transaction especially when we transact, it's legalized through online, through internet, through mobile at a country level. So we need to promote, we need to work on this. Uh, I'm talking this because you have to know what's going on in the country and you have to support. You have to work. You have to invest your time in promotion, in working, because you are the ambassadors for the other girls. So the focus areas on the countries are the agriculture. You know, Ethiopia is more than 80% of the Ethiopian people livelihood is through agriculture. So we need to support in technology. So the tourism, you know, Ethiopia is the origin of humanity. We all come from Ethiopia here. So there are a lot of uh, tourist attraction areas in the country. It has to be supported by technology. 
and the industry manufacturing. The productivity is increasing from time to time. It has to be supported by technology. The mining sector, the IT enabling sector is the most crucial at the country level. So we have to work on this. So uh, we have to take responsibility making international girls I see today to be nationally celebrated in the coming years with our partner of Ministry of Education and others. We will celebrate this day in our schools from on onward. So we are going to work with Ministry of uh, Education because there are a lot of products, a lot of startups who comes from girls from very young girls, very innovative and creative ideas. So we have to promote them. We have to celebrate what we are doing. So, dear participants, it's my strong belief that the fourth industrial revolution availing digital technology and skills to women and young girls has a direct impact on their economic gain. It's a very direct impact on our uh, economy gains, digital empowerment of women is a part of, uh, if not the center or the economy empowerment and uh, freedom. So through the digital, we can impress equality of women and young girls. So a digital is a tool to empower women, to bring equality. So we need to work. On that, I hope you'll have an insightful discussion for the remainder of the day. I thank you so much. Have a good day.